we are doing some nail design today and I've already applied my full cover nail tips by using this star glue as my peel off base as well as my base gel. So after I've applied my tip and cured this and file and buffed, I'm going in with a layer of this Fatsy base gel and I'm going to cure this on my UV lamp for around 45 seconds. So for my base color on my nail, I'm going to use this number one. And it's like a sand natural nail gel polish. This is called their solid pudding gel polish. I did do an unboxing in my previous video. You can check that out. So I'm just going to take a scoop of this delicious pudding and just apply it all over my nail. Now what I really like about this, as I've mentioned in the previous video, it's really easy to use, it's very smooth. And I know sometimes with um, regular gel polish, I can have like an area of the polish kind of pool and it's like a little bit of a lump, like it gathers at the end or at the base of the nail for some reason. And what you'll see with this gel, this gel pudding, it doesn't do that. Like it's just really smooth. Any excess that you have, you can take the brush and just remove it off. So after I'm done with my second layer of this gel polish, then I cure this and now I'm ready to add on some design. So I'm going to be using some nail art from Charlie's Nail Art. I have this beautiful kind of blue green foil transfer and then I have this pixie dust mixed glitter sequins and then I also have these butterfly sequins. All of these are from Charlie's Nail Art. I do have a coupon. I'll have it up on the screen as well as in the description. So once I've applied the foil glue and I've allowed it to dry and I just apply some pressure to the foil, I just take it right off. It's very easy to do. This is how it looks. Now you could actually just stop here. You can add a little bit of gold flakes to this and add some top coat and you're done. But I actually want to be a little bit more creative in this nail design. So I'm going to be adding a lot of different stuff. So. I'm going to use this cream white gel polish from Model 1s because I want to add some clouds to these nails because I feel like if I'm doing something kind of with cherubs, I want it to look a little bit angelic. So I always think of clouds. So I'm going to go in with a layer of base gel just to protect that foil transfer that we've applied to the nail. I'm going to grab my nail brush and I'm going to get a little triangular tray just I know this is a voiceover, but I'm just going to pretend like that just happened in real life. And I left it intentionally in this video so that, you know, accidents do happen. A lot of things behind the scenes happen and when before you actually can see the end result. So I just want you guys to know I'm perfectly normal. I do make mis mistakes and I do make messes, but that's okay. So we're going to take our nail brush and we're just going to go ahead and add some of these kind of holographic butterfly sequins um, to the nail. I don't know. I love the little effect that the butterflies give. And then I'm going to add some of this beautiful pixie dust glitter from Charlie's Nail Art over different areas of this nail. So it's like if you ever gaze at the sun, which you shouldn't, or there's like these sun rays and there's like a little glimmer from the sun. So that's what I'm trying to capture in this kind of nail design. And the butterfly is just going to give that a nice angelic effect because of the wings and stuff. So that's what I'm really going for here. Okay, so now for my clouds, I'm going to take my dotting tool and I'm just going to make different size circles um, with the with the white gel polish from Model 1s onto my nail. And I'm going to put the circles side by side. Once I think I have it kind of positioned into a cloud, then I'm going to take a little bit of that glitter gel pudding. And I want to use that to kind of create the... 
of like a I want it to be like a glitter cloud effect beneath it. You know, some clouds usually have like grayness to down to the bottom, but for this one I want it to be like like glitter down to the bottom. I hope this makes sense, but it's 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 kind of like an aesthetic cloud. It's not a real cloud. It's a heavenly glittery cloud. If that makes sense. If you ever go on Pinterest, you probably know what I mean. Like, you know, the clouds that they change into glitter or bling or something like that. But anyway, so this is this is how I do my clouds. I take the bottom out and I kind of change the color just a little bit. Now, you could go in with a pink. You could go in with a blue if you wanted it to look more realistic. But for this, I wanted it to be a little bit more on the glitter side. And once I'm satisfied with everything, then I go in with a layer of top coat to seal this all in. And then I simply just cure it under my UV lamp. And that is how it looks. So you can kind of see the effect of the nail. So now let's move on to the rest of my nails. I went in with that same color as well as that glitter color over all of the nails. And now it is time for me to go in with um, my ancient Greek writing. So I'm going to use this Model 1's color as well as my Vaga liner brush. And I'm going to go ahead and try, to, to, try my best to draw some ancient Greek writing. Now, this is not correct. Some of the letters or some of the writing I do have correct and some of them I just kind of made up along the way because I, I don't want to write something that I don't understand or know what it means you know I don't want to offend anyone so this is very much Greek inspired it's not a message it's not a writing you know some of the some of them are real and some of them are fake and this did take me a while to do you know this is the part of nail art that I really enjoy but also it can be very um uh, tiring as well because you have to draw each one so I take my Vaga liner brush and I go in with my strokes and I just kind of just draw you know So here is the completed look of those two nails. I really do like it. It should it should replicate stone writing. There were stone writings on the walls or onto stones. Uh, I'll probably pu put a picture on the screen so you can understand and compare to what I'm trying to do here. Anyway, I'm satisfied with how it looks so far and I'm just going to go in with a layer of top coat and just add a few rhinestones to these nails. Okay, now for the final finger, uh, which is where we're gonna put this beautiful gold cherub that I got from AliExpress. Um, if you are a current subscriber, you would remember them from that AliExpress haul. I, and I said I really wanted to do something with these, so here they are. So I'm gonna go ahead with some rhinestone gel onto my nail, and we are gonna be applying some big bling, some small bling, and we're gonna apply that beautiful, um, cherub gold 
nail charm. What I noticed too, like for large rhinestones, for large charms or anything like that, rhinestone dough, like you have to be really generous with it. I was trying to get away with just putting a little bit with a little bit of beige gel, but that doesn't really work. So definitely with the bigger rhinestones and like with the bigger charms, definitely go be a little bit generous with your rhinestone gel. Don't be cheap like me. And uh, so, you, so you'll spend less time trying to actually get it on than... You know, because everything started sliding around. Some of the gel started slipping onto the sides of my nails. And I just left this in because I want you to know, like, stuff happens. Like, you see this beautiful picture at the end of the day. But behind the scene, like, this was spilling and this was sliding. And the caviar beads started falling off. So, you know, I, I go through nail struggles just like everyone else, you know, so... I left it in just so that you can see the human side of doing nail art. But in the end, it turned out really beautifully. I ended up adding some of the clear rhinestone. I added in some butterflies and it all turned out great. I put my hand in front of a nice little prop and this is the end result. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.